Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Igwe Chedema and in today's tutorial guys, we're going to be making that beautiful dress with our usual which is brown paper. So if you want to know how I did this, just keep watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Thank you. <laughs> Start guys, this is our brown paper. I folded it, so I'm going to use this to mark our starting point. So I place my tape here. And I mark seven inches for the shoulder. Yeah, seven and a half for the armhole, ten inches for the bust point, thirteen inches for the under bust, and then seventeen and a half for the waistline. And the next thing we do is to, okay, let me label it first. This is chest line. This is bust point. This is my under bust. And then this is the waist line. So we first for determine our nipple to nipple. The nipple to nipple is three and a half plus half an inch. That is four inches. So that is what I'm marking here. I'll mark it all the way down. And connect it with a straight line like so so after doing this I'm going to come in here by one inch as well as this place here as well one inch and here also one inch. So after doing that, I'm going to connect it together to meet each other. I'll do the same on this other side. After that, after that, I'll use my curve glue. I'll connect it to this place like so. And I'll repeat the same thing on this other side. I'm going to extend my this thing by 1.5 inch over here. Okay, let me just make it one inch. I'm going to make it one inch. And I will extend the extend it like so. And the next thing I will do is to determine the distance from here to this place. And that is three inches. So I'm going to mark three inches all the way around. So after doing the second now, from here, I'll mark half an inch. half inch here and another half inch here so like what I did down here I'll do the same thing over here so from here I'll connect it to this both point
uh, at this bust point, this chest line, I'll go in here by half an inch. So with this half inch now, I'll connect it to this place. So from this point, I'll connect it. Sorry about this chalk, I hope it's clear now. Then from this one inch I marked here, I'll connect it to this place as well. bust point I'll come in from the bust point I'll come in here by half an inch from this line I marked then from there as well I'll connect it to this place After connecting it, I'm going to extend the line to this place. Then from there, I'll connect it to this one inch I made here as well. Extend it a bit. Then from this one inch here, I'll connect it like so. And so we are done. This line is looking somehow right. So I want to draw it better. Okay, so now it's time to impute our measurement. So from this bust point, the bust I'm working with is 8.7 inches, 8.75 inches. So mark it here. Normally, I don't put allowance on this thing. So I'll go ahead and take the waistline measurement. And the waistline measurement is this. The seven inches then measure what you have here so if you see from what I have here is two inches so I will transfer it to this place because you know I'm going to cut off this part so I'll mark it here and that's it guys I'll go ahead and connect it like so I'm not adding any allowance so So I'll go ahead and cut it now. What I'll do is to start from here. So for our back part, measure seven inches for the back, for the shoulder. Seven and a half for the armhole, then for the boss point, and seventeen and a half for the half length. So I'll go ahead and impute my bust measurement, which is eight point seven five. Here 
I'm not putting a lot ones. Then here is seven inches. And for a shoulder, I'll come down by seven inches. I'll make it six inches. Six for the shoulder. And I'll slant it. So right now for the skate part, that's the down part, we go ahead and take our measurement and the waistline, the waist I'm working with is 7. So I'll mark my 7 inches here. Then I'll place my tip like so and go down by 8 inches which is like standard for your hip point where to take your hip measurement it can it can be nine depending but i think standard is eight i i think so after marking that i'll go down by 18 inches the full length of this gown is 46 so 46 minus 17 and half which was the upper part it will give us 28.5 so 28.5 minus 10.5 which i used for the gather the gather part at the down part so that is why i'm having 18 inches over here so i connect it like so so later on i'm going to cut out another pieces which i'll use for the gather and that will be 10.5 inches by length okay so the width is very long like you know it's a gather so it was very long i had to join pieces and pieces together to get the full length so after marking the hip line i'm marking the new line so normally when you're making this type of skirt you don't start exactly at your new line you know where you want to put your gather if you do that it might not give you the uh, allowance like you might not be able to work like it's going to be holding you at the new point so what you have to do is to go up by four inches after you've gotten your new length your new line then from there go up by four inches i already did that here so this is not like exactly my new line so for the hip i use 29 inches for the hip so 29 divided by four will give us 9.75 and for the new line you have to minus whatever you have as your hip point take away two inches from it so as to give it that pencil look down part so i marked 7.75 down here So for our stitching part, so you remember when I was labeling, so you put the two and two together like so, and then you go ahead and stitch it. So what next to do, you bring one of the other side and then this center part and join it together. So that is what I did here. I've joined the two sides with the center and then the cup I will be joining now. So I place the tip of the cup at the center of these two joining. Okay, then I started joining to the other side. And when I was done, I also joined to the other side as well. right here i am done joining the two cups together and this is what we have now for the final look